What's up guys? It's Neko and I'm back with another freaking video. And in this video, I'm just gonna be packing Etsy orders and chatting with you guys and talking and whatnot. Um, I asked you guys on my Instagram what kind of content you want to see, and some people said they wanted to see me like packing orders and stuff, so I thought it would be kind of cool to just like you know pack orders, talk to you. What's good? What's good? So we're gonna pack some orders. Alright, so I'm gonna grab my iPad and how you guys doing? Let me know in the comment section below. What's good with you? So usually when I pack orders at my desk, I usually use my iPad. So I just kind of like turn it on, whatnot. So this is my shop. <laughs> Wipe off my screen. <laughs> this is my shop at Party Neko. You guys can see my, my little pink boxes in the background. My needed eraser. This is my shop page. Or whatever and this is where i like you know show my stuff all the stuff i've been selling yeah i have a bunch of stuff on my shop so let's let's fulfill some orders thought i'd just show you guys how i usually do it so we got about six orders right now let's let's just get to it i haven't really showed you guys like how i like organize my etsy stuff there's a lot of videos i'm kind of saving for like another time but like you know just know that i see you and i'm gonna get to like some of these stuff but anyways okay so usually oops i keep my stickers in these photo boxes i feel like i've shown you guys at one point what i've done so i have like these photo boxes that i get off etsy and i use like a dry erase marker and i just write like what type of sticker it is and then if it's like a bunch of the same type of sticker then i just keep them all in one all right so first we're gonna pack a Kiribaku sticker. And if you guys watch my hero, then you know. So we have one of these in the order. Sometimes what I like to do when I'm packing orders and I want to do it quick, I just take out all the all the items at once. Like I go through the list of the orders and I take out all the items and then I just sit down and pack all them at once. Okay, so we have one Kiribaku, right? And then we have a mystery bag. V Stars mystery bag. I make these little pre packed mystery bags, right? What else do we have? We have a high cue sticker, okay? I'm reaching up and I'm grabbing my little bins because they're like over my desk. We have one high cue sticker, right? And then what else do we have? We have a banana fish sticker. I don't know if you guys seen banana fish, but it's pretty dope anime. I think we have about two of them. Banana fish. Okay. And then we have a Haru and Juno witch sticker. I think I have one close by to me. Let me see. It's part of my Halloween collection. If you guys want to check that out, got this Halloween sticker. And then we have another banana fish. Okay, cool. So those are all the stuff that I need for the current orders that I have to fulfill right now. Okay. So these mystery bags usually come with a charm. I don't think I haven't put together all the charms in the mystery bags. This is my B Stars mystery bag. And I put them in these little baggies. And they come with a assortment of vinyl stickers and it comes with a charm so i have to make sure the charms are put together so let me put this charm together real quick a lot of you guys want to see how i do my how i do just like a packing and like chilling kind of video and i'm like i mean i like these type of videos i can do that for you yeah pilling these with nails on is not fun so we just peel this one and most of my charms I have listed right now are double sided so yeah so this one's not put together so we're gonna have to get the hardware for it I put my charms together oops I put my charms together myself so I just have this little tweezer thingy and then I have like the lobster claw and I have the lobster claw and all the stuff you have to put on it so literally, I have to give you guys a tour. 
at some point on all the stuff. For right now, keep you guys in the dark for now. <laughs> so this is the hardware I use. I have like star ones, heart ones, gold ones, um, claw ones. I'm going to use the heart today. So I'll just take this little piece here. Ooh. Open it up. Like this. Put it in here like this. Throw this on here like this. It's kind of hard doing it with long nails, but we make it happen. It's kind of hard for me to do this with nails. I don't usually have nails, but. Okay. Mind you, this is easier when you don't have nails on, but you guys get the, you get the, you get the point. So you put this together and I throw them right back into the bag like this. And this is basically the mystery bag. Cute, right? If you guys want to buy these mystery bags, they're on my Etsy shop and the link will be in the pen comment below if you guys want to get a mystery bag. Alright, so for the rest of these other stickers, they're basically going to be put into the envelopes and I'm going to pack them. But I'm not going to show you me show me putting them in the envelopes because I have my address on them. So I'm just going to show you the packaging and then at, at that point, you know, we'd be good. So, <laughs> being that it's still Halloween, I have a bunch of Halloween bags left over. So what I've been doing is using these Halloween bags to make my orders look Halloween-y. So I'll take out a couple of these Halloween bags. This one is bent. We have how many orders? One, two, three, four. No, five. One, two, three, four. Five, right? So we need five bags. They only come in three different designs. You might be saying Neko, those bags are really big. Well, I cut them down because I want to make sure I use all the bags. I use these mainly for my Kickstarter. So I'm using the remainder for all the orders in October because I want people to get them looking spooky. So, yeah, so what I do with these bags, I just line them up together like this, and then I just cut, I cut them right here, and then I have like Halloween small bags, because I really like the design of these, so I was really like, okay, I want these designs, <laughs> even though they're big, I made it work. So let's pack it up. Usually, I don't really do too much with it when it comes to it. Like, honestly, I just kind of just put the sticker, put the business card, and run. Sometimes I add, like, other stuff. Being that these are going into envelopes, I don't put candy in them. I usually put, like, high chews. They're all, I'm almost out anyways, too. So I only put the high chews in the bigger orders. Because they're, the bigger orders go into envelopes. And I've been using these orange envelopes for october and i'm actually almost out of them too so if you order from my shop you're getting a spooky type thing so you ready so all i do is really take the sticker like this in the halloween bag put the sticker in front because i want people to see their sticker first open the baggie And the front cut is too like cricket because you don't want to send you want to make sure your presentation is on fleek like i told you guys in my etsy video you want to make sure presentation is on fleek because 
you want people to give you a good review, right? I used to write notes, but like I started getting lazy, so I just put my note on the back of my business card so that people can just look here and they'll be able to, you know, know that I want them to leave feedback. So that's it. And then basically all I do is put this down in the back. Right? Take some tape. Take some tape, lay it down in the back, like this. I don't like to make my things difficult to open. <laughs> and that's basically what I do. That's all I really do. That's how I've been packing the Halloween or well, October orders, because I send them out like this now. And this bag is not Halloween because this is like a preset bag that I make. And then that's how you usually do it. So I'm just going to continue on. Make sure the cut on the bag is not too raggedy. Yeah, and the only reason why I cut these is because the bag is long. But I still want to get use out of these Halloween themed bags before the end of October. So, yeah. So. And these are all being sent out. These thicker ones, these flat ones, get sent out into envelopes. So that's why I try to make them flat and I don't add extra candy or anything because they're going into envelopes. Now, if you get a mailer, if you order like a charm or you order a certain amount of stuff, then you can request for a mailer. But when these like people order like singles, they just send it in an envelope. Make it cute. That's how I usually do it. I struggle sometimes. Put it in there. Bend the bag back like this. Take some tape. Like that. Like so. Make sure the bag is nice and flat. Remember guys, presentation is everything for those who are just starting their Etsy shop and stuff. Make sure you make sure you put some love into what you do because people will know. People will know. Just put it in a dish. Yeah. Just make sure it's flat. And then that's how I do the little single ones. The high Q one. People haven't really been buying the sticker, so I'm actually surprised that this is a sticker in the pack right now. Because for some reason, people don't really see my Kagehina sticker. But this is gonna look so cool together with the orange. Yes. Aesthetics. Uh oh. This bag is cut wrong. We'll use this one. Yep. This is what I do. Hope this video was relaxing for some of you guys. You guys want to see me pack, so here's my packing. If you want to receive a package, you guys can check out my Etsy shop so you can get one too. Sometimes I do put it a little quick. It's okay, as long as the bag is flat. All right. I think we have another one always make sure you're packing your orders with business cards those who are starting out because you have to have some type of branding for yourself so maybe that person if they keep if they like your business card and they keep it they'll remember you at some point and they'll be like oh i like this stuff i'm gonna go buy again 
Sometimes I keep certain people's business cards because it's cute. Try to hear that in the background. Apparently, where we live, especially near my my wife's room, you can hear people arguing. You can hear them fighting. <laughs> we don't know why, but people just don't have any sense of their neighbors. So, okay, we need another bag because one of the bags is chopped. Okay, so just take another bag for this little one. Usually, I would put this in like a glycine bag, my small bag, but like I said, I want to get use out of the Halloween bags that I have, so I try to put everything that I can in a spooky bag all the way up to October. So I just cut them and I make a bag. Take this one. Put them in here like this, like so. Use the card, bend it over, take some tape. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, so this is the orders. I think when we were just packing, we actually had a new order come through. So let's see what they got. Oh, we got a charm. Okay. Okay. Somebody just ordered a Haro Exodoshi charm. Okay. All right. So, where are those? Where is that? I don't have many of those left. That's like one or two left. So, they ordered this charm. So, let me unpeel it. Okay, so I peeled off cam because I was having trouble <laughs> with my nails. Okay, so they got this one. And I think I'll pack this up in a spooky bag because I haven't been packing these in spooky bags. And I kind of, like I said, I want to get use out of all the spooky materials before, you know, Halloween ends. So they're going to get this before October ends. So I just want them to get it spooky. So this is the Haro Exogoshi charm that I have. Like I said, a lot of my charms are double-sided, and they're nice. All right, so I'm going to put this together. Probably do the heart class again, so I'm going to do that. Really got to show you guys my setup one of these days. Not now, though. Soon. I will show you. I will expose my workstations. Okay. Jump ring. Hint. Heart. Charm. <laughs> like I'm out of frame. Close it together. Not even showing you guys. Okay, this is a charm put together with little heart claps on it. And then we're going to make, put it together. So, you just take a business card, right? Put it together like this. And we'll take a spooky bag. We want to use all our sticks and this will be going into a uh, mailer because i send my charms in mailers because you don't want them to break you don't want that i've had a couple of charms break on the way but obviously i send i automatically send a new one because i i can't control that and the per i feel like the customer shouldn't have to suffer so i usually you know i send them a, a new one if it breaks on the way i just feel bad Um, USPS needs to stop throwing people practice. <laughs> Maybe wilding. Alright, so I'm gonna put it in here. And I'm gonna use one of my ties like this to make it into a treat bag. So this one I can put like some candies in it. Put like two. 
obviously people can throw these out i don't tell what kind of candy it is but like probably should but these are high chews if you do order my from my shop they're just high chews and different types of flavors and then i take one of these little drawstring these little ties tie it up cut the bag a little too short that's not a problem we can turn the business card on the side so we have time some space and sometimes i make the bags like this like a little treat bag and I tie it up and make it like a little gift like a little a little gift you know presentation all right so i think that's all the orders i have guys i should have about seven orders so this is one order two three four five six and seven so those are all the orders so the for these two they're going into orange envelopes so i'll put it in the orange envelope you guys so these are the orange envelopes i use for halloween i only have like four left or so damn i said but it's okay because it's coming to the end of october um when it's not october i've been using these pink ones because they match my brand so these will be coming back as soon as i'm done but let's put these into the things and then i like to have a pen near me because if i'm not printing the label off like while i'm doing it i don't want to get confused so put like mystery bag Because when it's time to pack it, I just, you know, put my label, put it on. And then for this one would be the Haru X Lagosi Charm. All right. Coffee break. And music. Hey. <laughs> mm, take the mystery bag. Throw it in there. Seal it up. Orange, right? <laughs> and then we take the Kara X Lagoshi. Throw it in. Take it off. Paste it. So now we can have everything sealed up and ready to go when it's time to print the labels. And then for all these smaller ones, all we're gonna do for those, I can't do them on cam because I have my return address already on these. So all I do is put the stickers inside here like this, right? And I just seal it up. So I'm gonna do that off cam because I have to write everybody's stuff. Um, what I've been doing on my envelopes is I've been putting like my old stickers that I don't sell anymore on them to decorate them. So this is like a little OC on there. And I usually put like a thank you, like circle here. And I put like a do not bend because I don't want people bending my stuff. But yeah, this is a fun video. I hope this video was relaxing for you guys. It was for me. I'm not really doing much today besides like trying to bulk up on videos because I feel really bad about not filming enough videos. <laughs> And I just want to film more videos and I've been asking for suggestions and I'm trying to be good and like actually take my suggestions that I get because, you know, this is why we ask for suggestions. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the packing and all that and whatnot. I usually get around this type amount of orders a day or so. So if you guys want to support my shop, it will be at Party Neko. And I would really appreciate it if you guys get some stuff. And yeah, it'll be the first link in the description box below and in the pinned comment below. If you guys want to support my shop and get some stickers, let, let me know in the message that you're from YouTube. And I'll give you like a YouTube freebie or anything like that. But anyways, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys 
in the next one.